If you've ever worked with multiple audio sources before, then odds are you've caught up your video, got through the whole thing, to only realize that you forgot to add your really high quality audio. So you have to delete it all and recut the whole video again with the good audio synced properly. It's just a legit mess that wastes your time. Well, what if I told you that you never had to do that again because of one trick that you can do in the new DaVinci Resolve 17 version. So all of that stuff and more coming up. But first, if you're new here, my name is Billy Ripka and I make weekly DaVinci Resolve tutorials about different effects, transitions, and workflows that'll help you become a better editor. So if you wanna level up your editing skills, click that subscribe button and the bell notification to stay up to date on the newest videos put out. But let's get into it. So in DaVinci Resolve on our timeline, you can see that I have this project right here all cut up and obviously this is not a full blown project. It's just a small clip from a video I recorded like a week ago or something like that. Anyway, I have my video, I have my in-camera audio, which if you know anything about in-camera audio, you know that it sounds like it's recorded on a toaster. So you normally wouldn't use that. What you would do is replace the bad audio with good audio. Now here's where our issue is. That was supposed to happen before you cut up your video. Because now if I go ahead and grab my good audio like this, it's not gonna line up, right? We have sections missing right there all together. This is the point in your project where you realize that you fricked up and you have to go back and resync the audio and cut the whole video again because you just didn't sync it up. But now in DaVinci Resolve 17, you can totally just bypass that time wasting process of having to recut the video by using auto align clips. So if I highlight all of my clips right here and then right click, you'll actually see that it doesn't pop up. Like the, the option to auto align clips based on our waveforms is not available. And that's because every time you make a cut, DaVinci Resolve considers that its own clip. And for each clip, the audio has to be on its own audio layer like this. Now that's all great and stuff, but the problem is, is if you've gotten all the way through a whole project and you have hundreds of cuts, you don't wanna have to go through and pull each audio layer down. That is literally the worst. So I found a really cool workaround for that that really does save you time if you find yourself in this predicament where you just didn't sync your good audio in the beginning. So what you're gonna do is highlight the first audio and video clip like this, then holding control, highlight the good audio, then right click and go to auto align clips and do based on waveform. So now our clips are aligned based on the waveform right here. Then I'm just gonna make a cut in the beginning and the end of the clip like this and remove any unnecessary excess part and then move the good audio down one layer and then highlight all three of those clips again and just go to auto align clips based on waveform. And then once again, you'll make a cut at the beginning and the end, delete the other junk, move the newly synced good audio up and keep on moving. Now, the reason why we want this unsynced good audio one layer below our synced good audio is because if we go ahead and auto align these and they're all on the same track, you'll see that this audio track moves and overwrites the clip before it. To avoid that, we just keep it one layer below and move each synced part up. So we just keep doing this over and over and over again. And as tedious as it may be, if you've cut up hours of footage and you have like 200 clips, you're gonna spend a lot less time syncing the audio just like this, as opposed to deleting all of your cuts and recutting all of the footage. So as you see here, this one trick can help you save so much time if you've just forgot to cut up your audio. And honestly, it happens to the best of us. Professional or not, you've probably done it at some point. So I really hope you find this helpful. Anyway, two weeks ago, I released one of the most flexible, straightforward, and easy to use call out title packs yet. We made this pack because we wanted to save you time while making your videos still look really awesome. So if you wanna add some extra spice to your videos, then click the link down below to get it today. Anyways, if you thought this video was helpful, give it a like and also share it with your friends so that they can know that this trick exists and it can save them time. And while you're doing that, what are some other time-saving tricks that you know of? Let me know in the comments below because I really am interested to find out what you guys are doing to help streamline your process. Anyway, if you want more videos like this, click on the top for a playlist with all of my DaVinci Resolve tutorials or click on the bottom for a video that YouTube thinks that you would like. 
But until the next one, peace.